Regulatory authorities sure can be a pain in the ass for investors, can't they? Although in the crypto world, Bitcoin has typically been their target, these bodies are turning their eye to other tokens like XRP. In a saga that has gone on over several months, the SEC is suing Ripple over XRP. In this video, we break down the SEC XRP lawsuit saga and discuss what it means for the future of crypto. Let's have a brief overview of the major players in this saga. We'll soon be getting down to the dirty details, so stay tuned. But before then, let's gain a better understanding of the firepower behind these two groups. So, first off, we have the SEC. They are also known as the Securities and Exchange Commission. This is an independent agency of the U.S. government which exists to prevent market manipulation. They usually investigate the stock market. However, the rise of crypto has given them something new to do. Since they have the entire might and authority of the U.S. government behind them, they are very, very powerful. In this fight of David against Goliath, they're definitely not David. Next, we have Ripple. Ripple is a company started in 2012 which intended to take advantage of the booming crypto seen by giving banks and other financial institutions a means of processing crypto transactions without complications. Instead of clients having to wait hours or days to clear their crypto transactions, the power of Ripple and XRP token would allow the transaction to be processed in seconds. So now that we have that as a primer, what's been the story so far? We'll get to that in a moment. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This way, you never miss out on any of the awesome crypto and metaverse content. Now, back to the video. For quite a while, the SEC and XRP were coexisting in peace, but as well known, this peace was tenuous at best. In December 2020, the SEC initiated legal proceedings against Ripple Labs. They were alleging that Ripple's proprietary XRP token was a security and not a commodity, and had not been appropriately registered. They alleged that since XRP was controlled by Ripple Labs, it wasn't really decentralized and was being manipulated. They also alleged that the 14.6 billion units of XRP, which Ripple Labs had sold so far had generated an amount of $1.38 billion making the owners of Ripple Labs rich and not Ripple and XRP investors. These were pretty serious allegations, and in the aftermath, the price of XRP went on a nosedive. Many investors got scared, sold their tokens, and washed their hands. After all, the SEC had power and information. The allegations were most likely right. Naturally, the owners of Ripple Labs couldn't let this fly. Brad Garlinghouse, CEOs and co-founder of Ripple, fired back at the SEC for bullying them. He then vowed to take the case to court. And so, where are we now? Well, you know how bureaucracy is. Things get done with the pace of a snail. Right now, the lawsuit is still in its discovery phase. This means that both sides are still gathering evidence to build up a case. In truth, this is only the beginning. It might take years before a verdict is given. In any case, stick with our channel for the quickest updates. Well, that just about wraps it all up. We hope this video on the SEC XRP saga has sufficiently entertained and informed you. As crypto continues to assert itself in the world, things like this are bound to happen. As an investor, don't be worried. Rather, be curious. This will make you better. Do you think the dust will settle in favor of Ripple or in favor of the SEC? Leave a thumbs up for Ripple and a thumbs down for the SEC. Well, in any case, make sure you check out our other videos on the top 7 exchange platforms to buy XRP or Ripple tokens, and what XRP is and if it's worth investing in. These videos will make sure you become an expert in Ripple, one of the fastest growing digital currencies in no time. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and share. This way, you support the channel and help us keep coming at you with the most informative and engaging content. Well, that's all for now. Enjoy the rest of the day. We'll catch you later.